Still ahead, Edmonton's oldest hotel has some history haunting its walls. We're going to tell some ghost stories coming up next. We all love ghost stories, and it's even cooler when we find out local landmarks are haunted. Randall McDonald joins us to talk about some Edmonton ghosts, and particularly yes. the ones that haunt the Hotel McDonald's. The Hotel McDonald's. So my favorite thing about doing this segment is that I didn't have to worry about looking rested today, right? <laughs> so I think we should you always look do... terrible. I do look terrible. Well, that's and the I point. think I Right? I think we should always do ghost stories in the morning so I don't have to look good. <laughs> yes, so um, obviously the Hotel McDonald's, our uh, famous historic hotel in the city, which I love, um, of course is haunted. So the one is uh, horses. Yes, so um, there's a story that in 1914 when they were building the hotel, I guess a horse of exhaustion died and fell into the foundation as the concrete was being poured. And now apparently on some of the hallways, you can hear it walking around. Cool. Yeah, All right. right. And a sailor has been spotted. And a sailor, like, hello, sailor. Um, yeah, so he's been spotted. He was first spotted in one of the executive suites, <clears throat> smoking a pipe, sitting in a wing back chair. And so the... Um, What's interesting about the North Saskatchewan was uh, in the turn of the century, you know, the fort was still there up until like 1918, 1920. So it was still very much trading uh, and an active riverway. There, were, People don't realize, I think, how much activity actually happened mm -hmm. on the North Saskatchewan River and was happening at the time of the hotel being built. All right, so he's spotted, and uh, radio. You can sometimes hear a radio, and the radios aren't on. Tell right, us about that. exactly. <clears throat> so CBC used to broadcast from the top of the um, hotel, because at the time, it was the tallest building mm -hmm. in the city. And so, yes, so you hear 1950s music playing, which is why I'm dressed in a 1950s oh, Letterman nice. sweater. Oh, I get it now. So, yeah, so um, there's all these cool different stories, and you... And, you can dress like some of the ghosts, um, and it doesn't have to be super hard. No, because uh, the Hotel McDonald, they are uh, celebrating all of these ghostly creatures. So there's a party uh, the weekend before Halloween, and right. you're suggesting uh, some some ideas if you were planning on going, uh, right. some of so the characters. The, so the theme of the party, it's uh, Friday, October 26th, and the theme of the party is uh, ghostly guests. So I think it's really fun that they're celebrating the, the stories, the ghosts yeah. uh, from the hotel, and then encouraging people to dress like some of the ghosts. So like I said, I'm the 1950s, so I took that from the, the yeah. 50s music. Now, we talked about the horse, which I, I never knew about before, but apparently everybody does. Yeah, uh, I'm not putting this on. Uh, no, because her hair is too pretty today. Her <laughs> hair is too pretty. I was going to have her put a hat on. She's like, no hat. No hat, no hat. All right, and we have we have somebody already dressed up for us. So there's no haunted bride, but maybe. Well, I, come on, let's face it. There's got to be a bride who died in the hotel. Like, I know the BAMP spray, right? Because <laughs> love me leads to murder, let's face it, right? Okay. Uh, so you're right? good with a haunted bride. I'm um, totally. No what. Well, I mean, the BAMP Springs has one, so I'm claiming one for Edmonton. So, yeah, so um, this is Shirley, and um, Shirley is wearing her wedding dress, actually. Um, but then you just add the makeup and some accessories, and there you go, you're like a cool ghostly bride. Um, the other thing I was saying you could do is, um, there, you know there's gotta be some woman walking around in a nightgown in the hotel. There's gotta be well, of course. a dead, well, right? Of course. So throw your nightgown on, throw some scary makeup on. I also brought this, you know, for, so we talked about the sailor, just wear a striped yeah. t-shirt. Throw a little sailor hat on, which Stacy wouldn't put on. <laughs> and just don't sleep well the night before. <laughs> exactly. Your whole costume, and you, that's right? right. And then now let's talk about makeup a little okay. bit. Um, so the makeup part can be r really quite easy because um, all you really need to do is kind of white out your face. And I brought a couple different options. Now this is a white, sorry, this is a white powder um, yeah. from uh, called Laura Mercer. This is like a white makeup paste that you can get at like Theater Garage. Yeah. Super easy to, yeah, to white your easy. face. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, guys. You thank look fabulous as a haunted bride. The Ghostly Residence Party is the weekend before Halloween. Tickets 125 bucks.